If you have a Motion Array subscription, I'm stoked to tell you that you just got a lot more value because we have a new type of template that opens up new possibilities for ways to create and it's insane. If you're in the world of digital design, you've probably been seeing that 3D typography is blowing up right now. And for good reason, it looks super cool, but it can be challenging to make a fake 3D look, especially for video. And if you wanted to make a true 3D piece of text, you need to learn a program like Cinema 4D, create a really cool looking animation, export it, bring it into After Effects, but we've literally made it this easy for you. Type, done. Real 3D animated text that you can edit and style to your liking. So I'm gonna show you what we did to get this unique look and how easy it is for you to use. And if you wanted to download some of these and follow along, then I've left a link to my personal favorites in the description below. But for right now, I'm gonna be going through this one called Blow It Up. So after downloading, we just need to open up this template and double click on the After Effects file and immediately we're greeted with an example of what the text looks like. It looks like a bunch of real balloons blowing up and bouncing around. It looks super cool. But in order to make it say something different, all we have to do is go here to the edit folder where it says text goes here. Double click it and now we can type out exactly what we want ours to say. So let's say that I wanted these balloons to say that we reached 400,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which by the way, we're extremely close to. And I'm actually gonna be using this video template to send out a video announcement. So if you wanted to get us there a little bit quicker, pop that subscribe button if you haven't already. So I'm just gonna type in here 400,000 subs. And if we go here to the finals folder and double click either the HD or 4K version, we can see what the text looks like in either of those two resolutions. And it's already got some amazing looking animation. It's insane how real it looks with the actual curvature and folds and wrinkles and everything. But probably the first thing you're gonna wanna do with this template is just move it around. Maybe you wanna adjust the spacing between two letters so that they overlap more or less. You actually do this a little bit differently in this template. In order to adjust these letters, you actually need to go to the color control composition underneath the edit folder. So double click on it, then highlight the control layer and go up to effect controls. You can adjust the spacing using this tracking slider here or press on this checkbox to manually drag around individual letters or highlight a bunch of them and move them around as a group. But this is actually a little bit different from how you would normally do this, which begs the question, why do it this way? Well, it's a great question because it actually gets to the reason of why these templates are so awesome to begin with. Because each of these letters actually isn't being generated from within After Effects per se. Each individual letter has been painstakingly custom animated in Cinema 4D to really animate in a true 3D environment. And they've been exported and linked in After Effects through a series of scripts and expressions so that when you type in the letter A, it links to a fully animated and pre-existing real 3D animated letter A. And this has been done for every single letter of the alphabet and every major symbol. It's awesome. And what's really great is that it doesn't sacrifice customization either. Let me go over how you can customize each of these letters in the template. Each different template will be a little bit different in terms of what you can do, but they all follow the same general structure. Here you have color controls where you can adjust the colors of the balloons and how many colors are present. So for example, we can have them all one solid color, or we can iterate between two to five different colors, spread out among all of them and adjust each iteration as needed with a simple color picker. You can also change the style of the balloons here, having an overall smoother look or having a more wrinkled texture that feels like it's inflated a different amount. You can change the background color or decide to have the background be your footage or to be completely transparent. I'm a big fan of this transparent option because I personally really like bringing this back into my Premiere Pro project and test it out to see how it works in different parts of my edit. We can also adjust the presence or absence of drop shadow and its characteristics to make it feel more like it belongs in our scene for compositing purposes. And we can change the global size and spacing of the balloons to dial in the framing of the overall composition. And here's my favorite part, you can adjust the animation. By default, they'll be inflated all at the same time, but if you turn delay on, you can choose between having them inflate in order, inflate back to front, or inflate randomly and even adjust how much time each next letter is delayed by. And there's a random seed slider so that you can change the randomness if you like this random instead of this random or this random, you get the idea. Guys, this is what's so great about these templates. This is only one of them. We got this one and this one, and each of these has a different look and feel, but they all control super easy and they all give you an amazing real 3D look right out of the box. Like I mentioned before, I've left a link in the description down below to some of my personal favorite versions of these templates so that you can download and play around with them. Guys, I can't wait to see all the awesome stuff you're gonna use these templates to create. And if you're looking for some free After Effects presets, you can check out these ones right here.